Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. I've got some news that will hopefully make your day even better. It sure is working for me. A couple of months ago, we did take the time to talk about Dragon Age Dread Wolf, and we reviewed some leaked footage that had come out regarding the game that I personally thought was terrible and did not live up to the heralded history of the series. And judging by the comments, many of you agreed with me as well. Well, it appears that EA and perhaps Bioware agree with this also, and they've decided to delay the game. So this news comes courtesy of IGN, and I will leave a link in the description so you can look at it yourself. Dragon Age Dread Wolf seemingly isn't launching this year. Uh, the news comes by way of EA's latest earnings report. So EA's latest earnings report contains no mention of Bioware's upcoming RPG Dragon Age Dread Wolf in its list of upcoming games, suggesting the next entry in the beloved franchise won't release until April 2024 at the earliest. And as far as I can tell, no specific release date has been provided, so it could be that this delay is even longer than just April. Now, looking at the rest of the earnings report, it mentions some of the other EA games coming up, Lord of the Rings, Heroes of Middle-Earth, Immortals of Avium, and Madden 24. I have no idea if I'm gonna play any of those games, but no mention of Dread Wolf. For those of you who remember, this game was officially revealed in December 2018, and in October 2022, it was announced that an alpha version of the game was playable from start to finish, which gave many of us, including me, hopes that the game would be released soon, but it doesn't appear that that's actually the case. Again, just want to reiterate the obvious. This is great news. You know, you can't always release a classic. You can't always release a genre-defining game. But you should always be able to release a game where I can play this, look at it, and say, okay, there was some real effort put into this. I can see you all tried to do something great. And even though you didn't, you you came up short, it wasn't quite what I would have wanted. I, I can see the the artistry and the craft that went into this. And just being completely frank, when I played uh, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, when I played Andromeda outside of the jetpack combat, which was an incredible addition to the series, definitely some of the best combat the series has ever had. Outside of that, I don't see, I didn't see the effort. Characters, graphics, art, writing. All of it just came off as subpar to me. I just want to know that you respect my money, respect my time, and you are doing everything in your power to craft something that is worthy of the $70 that I have to spend in order to enjoy your product. And for me personally, this delay shows that EA and Bioware, I don't really want to give EA credit, Bioware is committed to putting out a quality product. And it, to me, it's also a clear indication that they understand the stakes that are involved with this. And sometimes as a fan, it's not clear if when you're looking at these huge companies, if they really understand like, hey, this is a moment right now. And if you all do not capitalize properly on this moment, it can have serious ramifications. Before the... the enhanced edition of mass of the mass effect series came out a lot of people wrote bioware as off completely they said all right this studio is never going to be the same it's never going to be worth investing in their games again and frankly there are a lot of people who still feel that way but that release brought back a lot of goodwill all of those emotions, all of those great memories, and yet still most of the baggage that people had regarding the ending, it, it kind of just didn't come up again. And so it felt like people were finally able to just enjoy the whole series for what it was, as opposed to dwelling on the parts of it that they did not like. And so it was a beautiful, fantastic moment for Bioware, and now they've got a lot of built-up goodwill with a fan base that was barely thinking about them before. They have to capitalize on that. If Dread Wolf ends up being another dud, if it ends up being yet another game where the fan base feels like the company doesn't respect them, the, the ramifications for them will almost certainly 
carry over into Mass Effect 5. Whereas if Dreadwolf lives up to the billing and lives up to the level of quality that the series is known for, those emotions will almost certainly carry over into the next series that they uh, release a game for. So I'm really pulling for them. I really, really want this to go well. I, I think I've said this before, but you know, I'm not really big into studio loyalty. Like, even if I like a game or two of yours, I don't, I'm don't. i not the kind of guy where, okay, every time this studio releases a game, I'm on it. Bioware is one of those few companies. Like, Bioware Games is really what got me into gaming to begin with. And so there's a part of me that is always going to feel kinship towards them. Even though the doctors aren't there anymore, David Gator isn't there anymore, like a lot of the people that I come to know and trust aren't there it's just you know it's a symbol at this point for me like that when i see that logo bioware automatically my wallet comes out and i just want that to be respected i don't want to be feel like you're taking advantage of me and when they released andromeda and it seemed like they pulled a bunch of the energy and effort and resources out of mass effect and try to put it into anthem to me that was incredibly disrespectful incredibly disrespectful to the fan base that got you to where you are. So really, really pulling for them to go back to form and for Dread Wolf to be everything we want it to be. Hope you all are excited by this news as well. Hopes it makes you more excited for the release date. And hopefully next year is going to be a great game uh, for gaming as well. This year has already been interesting. Anyway, hope you all uh, have a fantastic day and you enjoy this video. Take care.